Hello everyone, how's it going? I thought I would come on and have my tea and just make a quick video. Um, so I shouldn't say come on, I'm used to doing lives. I usually just talk to you all live, but I just wanted to make a video to kind of let you know. Um, I was, I went to the hospital the other day. Um, I went to ER because about a week ago, let's say Wednesday or Thursday, I noticed that I started feeling really jittery, and that's the best way I can put it, like this. You know that feeling when you've had too much coffee? That's the feeling, and I know that that feeling is raised blood pressure because a few years back, um, I had that feeling before, um, but I thought it was, I don't know what I, I thought it was that I had too much coffee or something, but lately i've been just drinking decaf and because i mainly like the taste and the smell but i stopped having coffee altogether and um for about a week i was feeling this very jittery feeling throughout my entire body and i couldn't shake it and so i started to think it was raised blood pressure and it wasn't going away it was on and off consistently for about four days five days and so I went to the ER a couple days ago to be checked out we have some of the worst hospitals out here but I won't get into that um, I went to AV hospital in the Antelope Valley area Antelope Valley Hospital it's just it's just not very good I'm sorry but uh, oh man I was there for seven hours they took different blood tests, mainly a CBC and a BMP, which is basically checking out, you know, your kidneys, your liver, just your basic blood test, blood panel. Um, they did other tests and of course COVID and I say of course because it seems like they, I, they probably do that everywhere. But anyway, um, they didn't find anything. However, they didn't, I want them to run a blood test for blood clots called a D-dimer, I believe. Um, I found that out through my friend. Um, she's a CNA. And so basically, um, I've been really scared um, because there's been a lot of loss lately. A lot of them have to do with either blood clots or just different things that are to do with the cardiovascular system and um, it scares me so anyway I just want to say this because it was my blood pressure it was very high when I went in it was 157 I believe over 96 or something like that by the time I left the hospital it was 149 over something I can't remember this second number but that's high um, some doctors will tell you that it's high over 140 others will tell you that it's high over 150 and maybe the nurse there was just trying to put my mind at ease but she was like it's not stroke high but it didn't feel good I'm telling you and I guess why I'm coming on tonight is because I still don't know what's going on it could be stress and I hope to God that that's only what it is because to be honest with you I had felt like I had it under control I gotta be there for my mom I have to be there for my sister I should be going more I should be doing more and there's a lot going on here at home as well but here I am thinking like all right I'm gonna start meditating I'm gonna start being more mindful of self-care whatever that means I you know, self-care is not just about your hair, your nails, and, and things. Although, those those are, you know, self-care as well. But self-care is maybe taking time for yourself, even if that's a half hour. Having a bath. These things I have not fully done. Um, but I've it's been brought to my attention, like, hey, like, you need to do this, or, you know these things and not in that way but just um it's important 
to take care of yourself and you have to listen to your body you know a lot of people ignore certain signs and things and some of us don't even know if something's wrong until you go get checked and then it's just like oh but a lot of the time it can be something that can be fixed so I just feel that number one it's important to listen to your body um, more importantly when it comes to stress and pressure and the monotony of every day um, you might not realize that you're stressed because for a while yeah I would I would say yeah, I've got stress there's a lot going on but I've been trying to be like all right I'm fine we've got a roof over our head um, things are okay I've got this you know my sister has been getting sick my mom is as you know bedridden from her strokes and it, it just it's just a lot there's a lot more than I can talk about that I'm willing to talk about here um, but I just feel like I you know I think I have it under control and I do I'll be okay with the proper self-care like I'm saying or or something I I just need to be okay and I am I need to be okay like I really do I I want to be here for my kids and my family and I just want to see what the future holds and I'm, I'm just telling you that I I've had a scare because I've never felt that feeling it's not just jittery that's just the best way I can describe it but it was really 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 heavy another thing that's been scaring me lately is I had some now take in mind this could be me just being scared as well or paranoid I hate saying scared I'm up I'm worried you know but um, I was feeling like a bit of pain not like bad pain but soreness in my ankle and then I felt it you know going up my leg not all at once it's just like you know for a while I felt it in my ankle and then I felt it towards my leg and it's my left arm that's a little bit sore but it's not in pain you know but I'm going again to go get more tests um, that they had to order just to make sure of everything what I'd like to do is have a scan of my whole body because I want to catch something before if there's anything before the worst you know what I mean and if there's not anything I'd rather be safe than sorry you know um, but I was right about the blood pressure thing it was really high and I want to tell you guys especially for ladies I mean men too um, but uh, the reason I say ladies is because I feel like we carry things in a different way we hold on to things or, or, or the things it's not just a negative thing that we hold on to but we take on a lot of roles and we take on a lot and sometimes the monotony of every day of even something that's repetitive someone's asking you for or something that someone's you know it, it could be your job it could be your family it could be anything you know um, but you have to learn I have to learn too um, to kind of pull back um, because it is a lot and, every, and there's so much going on in the world today. And that's the other thing. All this worldly stuff that's going on. And it's it can really pile up. And you can get consumed by it, you know. And not even realize that this is all stressing you out. You're feeling like, I got this. I got it. I got it. I got it. But at some point, even the strongest need a moment. And some of us break. And yes, we should be happy and thankful that that we're alive and thankful for our blessings, no doubt. We really should. But everybody needs a point where they need to pull away. And I don't want to say a point. I mean, I, I feel like I can't word things the way I want to. I feel like we should have time for ourselves, even if that's at night or early in the morning, to talk to God, to meditate or pray um, or do something that's just for you if that's I don't know having a nice bath or something which I have I, I need to do these things that I'm saying I do pray I pray a lot especially lately a lot but I've always been you know someone who prays 
I think as I get old, older, I just pray differently. But God is who I go to. I don't know how you believe or what you believe, but if you have some sort of faith, you know, that helps too. But um, I guess the message I just want to leave today is to please take care of yourselves and help take care of, you know, I want to say help take care of others, but just make sure you check on people. Make sure that they're okay because even the strongest sometimes just need a little something, need an ear, need a hand, you know, for whatever reason. Um, none of us are made of steel, even though we kind of present ourselves to to be made of steel <laughs> um, or you know we think even to ourselves like we can handle it all but life gets heavy and you don't realize sometimes that you're stressed sometimes you really don't and it'll just creep up on you so you have to take time to reflect or breathe what I've been doing a lot lately is ill I mean I smack my lips but what I've been doing a lot lately is is breathing trying to breathe and you know what I mean. Obviously, we're constantly breathing, but seriously focus on breathing and taking a minute out of the day to do whatever it is that makes you feel at ease. I mean, it's important. So pay attention to your body, your mental health, your, your emotional health. And honestly try to pull away from this everyday internet and just monotony of everything it needs to be broken up that's the thing too i think we need a change of environment i know i do what i've been wanting to do lately but i feel so guilty for and i really can't afford but i'd like to just go away for a day and i mean completely go away just no phone something peaceful nothing bad i feel like just something good you know where i can just relax and sleep i think that oh that's another important thing i don't sleep it's hard i i get very little sleep and i think that also added to my blood pressure being high as well as the stressors of life right now and i and i hate claiming stress i really do because like literally i feel like you know I know we don't have a lot, I know that there's always something going on, but at the same time, you know, I'm okay, it could always be a lot worse. And it's just being grateful for what you have and your health mainly, and uh, that's what's scaring me right now. I, def I just definitely don't want high blood pressure, so I'm trying to regulate that and get that under control now. And it could have been a combination of stress, um, not sleeping, and chocolate i don't know i don't know but just take care of yourself please remember that you have to take care of you first you really do and it's hard i i feel and i know i sh i don't know i just feel wrong saying this but i know i have to you know there's a lot there's a lot going on but i don't know i just want you all to pay attention to your body if you feel something go get checked out don't wait i know that it might be scary sometimes but it's better to go try to handle it before it's worse you know what i mean so much love to you all thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and i will talk to you soon much love